The Baltimore Ravens are coming off a bye. They're at home this week facing the other purple NFL team, but the Vikings are feeling more blue these days. To the end zone, and it is held to the touchdown. Hooper, 75 yards in eight plays to take the lead. Minnesota fans aren't sure if they are madder because that it wasn't Dak that beat them late last week. It was Cooper Rush but they also aren't super stoked that their passing attack couldn't generate more than 185 yards. And the pass is caught here by Madison, makes a stop there to make it third down at 13. Kirk Cousins only mustered 5.3 yards per attempt, rating was under 90. To the outside, Keelan gets barely into Dallas territory. Cousins usually has good stats, but they don't always translate to winning. Going deep. Free and the pass is incomplete. A real blown opportunity that time for the Vikings. Justin Jefferson was somewhat erased by Trayvon Diggs. Cousins, ton of time. He throws deep and it's incomplete. Which means the Ravens will likely stick Marlon Humphrey on him a lot. To the end zone and it's intercepted. Picked off in the end zone. Grabbed by Marlon Humphrey. But he can't cover Adam Thielen, too, and he did produce against the Cowboys. Fires a little wide open as Thielen for the touchdown. And the rest of the Ravens' secondary hasn't played as well as Humphrey. Over eight yards per attempt allowed as a team, rating over 95, and the second highest yard per catch average. Oh, there he goes! He had him in a blender and he's off to the races! This will be six! What about their run D, being they face Dalvin? 4.2 per carry allowed, not bad. D. Ryan, grab. Down initially right there by Brandon Williams. Cook is coming off a solid game, 4.3 per, but 18 carries meant his role was somewhat limited. Bursting through the middle is Cook, like a jet. Great runner on the other side too, even if he is the QB. Here he goes, slicing, faking, driving. Oh, he is slippery. Lamar and his mates find themselves back in the thick of it despite not playing and losing the week before. So how they played in their last loss is irrelevant now. Jackson leads a rushing attack that's still hitting at close to five a pop. And gonna tuck it and run. Got a blocker in front of it. To the sideline and out of bounds and enough for the first down. So much about first and 20. The Vikings, against traditional runners, fared great last week, held the Dallas duo to under four yards per carry each. Here goes Pollard, who gets slung down by Woods. That didn't fit their M.O., though, and the Ravens are an entirely different challenge. He's got the first down, and he rumbles down the sideline! Minnesota's performance against Cooper Rush was also surprising in the opposite way. He gave up the game-winning TD late and over 320 yards to him. Caught on the run by Cedric Wilson, and Wilson inside the 10, all the way to the end zone. And that didn't make sense based on their numbers against the pass going into the game, which were good. And it wasn't that their pass rush didn't have an impact either. Three more sacks to their league leading total. Everson Griffin with the sack creating fourth down and a punt. But will they be able to be as effective going forward without Daniil Hunter? He's done. But Jackson does get sacked a lot for obvious reasons. Hendrickson's on him and brings him down. He's sacked again. Fourth one authored by that Cincinnati D. When he's been upright, 10 TDs, 5 interceptions, 277 yards per game, and a rating over 97. Jackson right on the screws, caught by Brown. And the Ravens' passing attack isn't built around a duo anymore either. What a catch! Another one by Andrews. Let's see how Baltimore responds. Jackson first and ten. Nice catch. That's Pittman, the rookie. It's first and ten going away with the block at the left tackle going deep. Oh, he's got Brown! What a catch! Touchdown! Vikings are far from out of it, just can't slide too far back. The Ravens, they did nothing, absolutely nothing last week, and it was everything they thought it could be. They moved back into first, what could be better? I'm claiming the comment the purple team is going to win first, so that's out of the way. Now all you have to do is leave your prediction. Here's ours.